When will that blessed moment come when Sri Rupa Manjari will look at me and call me this new maidservant, quickly ordering me, Oh, Dasi, come here. Quickly get the paraphernalia of your service. My heart will be filled with joy when she orders me like this. And I will do my service with a pure heart. I will keep my paraphernalia for service on a jeweled plate. Fill up a golden pitcher with scented water and quickly come before Radha and Krishna. When will Narottama Das attain that state? I will shyly stand behind Sri Rupa as Radha and Krishna look at me again, smile, and ask Rupa with kind hearts. Oh, Rupa, where did you get this new maidservant? <coughs> Hearing the inquiry, Sri Rupa Manjari then tells them, Manjulali Manjari, the spiritual name of Sri Lokanath Goswami, has given me this maidservant to bring her before you. Knowing her to be very humble, I, I kept her to serve you. While she told them this personally, she will engage Narottam in their service. To attain such heart's service of Sri Madhava, Radha Madhava, Srila Thakur Mahashaya yearns to be close to Sri Rupa's lotus feet and to indicate that this, this is the most coveted thing for the Gaudiya Vaishnavas that this is blissfully attained by the people of the world through Sri Rupa Goswami. And that everyone may be blessed with this relish, this auspicious invocation is accomplished in the form of a confidential blessing. Would you please explain coveted? Coveted means um, when you covet something, it means you want something. Usually that that someone else has, you know? It's got a little bit like greed, but not quite so. It has, you know, covet, it's a little bit like greed. You want that thing that someone else has. So this is, I don't know. Sometimes, mm. Devotee asking question. Mm. We are we were in spiritual world before. Or we we go spiritual world. So this is So means you know so we we are spiritual one but uh, we are forgetting. Mm. <coughs> What's up? No. We are we are go go to spiritual one. I heard different answers. Hmm? Uh, I heard different answers. So what I understood, when a realization coming means I will, I realize myself. When I will see 
proper understanding of this question. Before, it just for me, will be information how good they are telling. And I couldn't understand really what I understand from about this situation. What do you want to say? Sorry. So. This is, uh, I don't know, this is proper or not proper. This is a new made sound. This is the novel? No. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting, no? Yeah. New, new to who? This is the question. New to Radha Moha. Da, yes, yes, because she was presented to Radha Krishna. If she knows, oh, oh, oh. oh. Now you brought my old maid son. Oh, the people are my but here mentioned the new 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 made sound. Uh, yes, it's interesting. Also, it's how the corresponds to what Gurdjieff yesterday told. He told to serve the Mohan means what they to do what they want. They want more, not direct service to them, but they much more have desire with when they will serve their family. To increase this family. Mm. Increase this family. <laughs> this also corresponds with the law. Yeah, this both is uh, correct. Means, whatever, whatever needed, we should do this. Sometimes needed direct service. Some, like, for example, if Guru Dev would do, nobody there. Then I have to do this. We have to do this. But if serving Guru Dev do for Guru Dev, then we, we may find let let he or she do for Guru Dev direct service. And then we may find another seva. That is, I think, you know, whatever. Uh, is needed. So we should do this. That is, a, you know, that is, a, I think, seva. <coughs> so this is very interesting. Yeah, I agree. But your question now not answered. Huh? Your question is no. not answered. So if you see this new made servant, then answer please. Means she has been a maid servant before or never? Before, no. no. If if before, then oh, you bring all the my maid servant. Bring back. Bring back. Oh, you are very nice. You bring back my old maid servant. Yeah. This possible also. It would mean that you go back. Yeah. When you want to serve your maid servant. Uh, if somebody, like, a, like a, last time, like Mahanidhi Mahani Madangopal mentioned, sometimes Radha want some male servant to go to material wash to, to helping them. Um, you know, oh, you go. Once Nara Maharaj told us, Radharani, Radharani said, oh, go to material world. Then Narama said, no. And the, but still, Radharani said, you should go to help the conditions. Then finally he agreed. <laughs> Did you hear? Uh, yeah, it you? corresponds to when Mahaprabhu asked Nityananda Prabhu, go to Naudit and, pre and distribute Prem. Nityananda Prabhu, it's mentioned in Mishnah Shepard, he had no desire to leave Mahaprabhu, but the order of Mahaprabhu for him was much more important. He could not, not follow his order, that is why he left. But Mahaprabhu told him, never return. But Nityananda Prabhu couldn't do this. Every year he again and again returned. No, actually, he never said, never return. Oh, never? No? No. I heard this, but I just I repeated it. But I, I heard, uh -huh. not never. Don't come every year. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's Don't true. come every year. Yes, it's true. Always it's so true. Always it's so true. Yeah, yeah. But Anita is rather so strong, you know. Anita, they come every year. Yeah, yes, 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 it's true. Sorry. 
No, no, it's, it's so okay. cruel. <laughs> but but the Mahaprabhu also cannot say no <laughs> so strongly because of love. But if if Nityananda does not go to Bengali, Bengal, then we may not hear. That means Nityananda did not get married with Janabama. Then our sampradaya may different, different maybe. But so the most important hmm? because many of our line they direct uh, how to say their children's and uh, children's of children hmm. of Indian, uh, hmm. and hmm. children's come from Basuda, the sister of Janam. True. Yeah. This is interesting. This is very interesting. And uh, Janaba adapt. Janaba premium I think one one uh, devotee. Ra- I think Ramani Rama uh, Rama I don't remember I'm sorry. <laughs> I think Rama Ramai Pandita some 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 person. And the I think Radhara Sasdanidi or Virapak Smajin mentioned this pandit asking Janabama, could you explain about Baba Urasara? And then Janaba explained, but so the, at that time he said, Dear Mother, Ma. Actually, they are, you know, this, so adopted, so therefore, therefore, say Ma. And also, interesting, this uh, Mahaprabhu yesterday's Mahaprabhu, yes. <laughs> Uh, about this uh, new manjari, still going on this topic, or we are shifting a uh, new topic? Because uh, I want to ask about uh, new manjari. Okay, nice. Thank you. Yeah, you said new manjari means uh, we go back and as new, right? But actually, I'm not clear about this point because. Radha and Krishna's Lila is always fresh. They are doing Nicha Lila. Every day Radha and Mohan meet, but always new. Oh, who you are. That's why if in material calculation for me, new means new. But in Nicha we are going to this eternal Vrindavan. Go back, even though go back, but maybe it's a new leader happened. This is my understanding. But uh, he did not, but uh, Swami did not mention, oh, new, new Torashi Manjari. Torashi, Torashi, Rupa is Torah, Rupa. But, uh, but uh, you know, the, the Yoga Maya, or like kind of, like kind of Maha Maya, no, no, sorry, Yoga Maya, arranged always fresh. So therefore, Radar feels always, you know, meeting Krishna is like a, like a first time. But uh, as Manjari, he did not say, oh, oh, who are you? You know, to the Rupa or Torasi, she did not say, like this. Mm, I'm not clear still. <laughs> Maybe possibility this because uh, then we have an eternal body. I trust it. So anyway, I don't want to discuss this this too much. Yeah. Because you know this, this kind of it's, it's not so important. But so important. I just wanted to say something that might clarify it. So my understanding of this new maid servant. This is from perspective of Shirmar Mahasaya. Sh- 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 uh-huh. That this is from his perspective, no, from the Das perspective. From his perspective, he is new to this. So this is his perspective. That's new age. You see, he's projecting this. I think on 
that to do. I'll do for Bhajan. Yeah, yeah, that I, I'll create Radha Krishna. Yeah. Radha Krishna. This is for the Lord Dasma Bhaj Maharaj. This is for the Oh, no, no, it's Narottam. No, this yeah, is Narottam. This is, this is, yeah. this is yeah. He's speaking, in third, so he's speaking in third person. He says, When will Narottam Das receive this service, right? We made service. So with his. In his conception, this is he is new. You see, so he's saying like new. But, um, but when you say new, that means that there was someone before, right? So this this means when you say new. See, so this creates a problem for us. Like how is it that you know? Because this is like you say, it's eternal. So how can there be new one, right? Because everything you know, like this, but. I don't think we need to get no. caught up in this thing. No. It's not a <laughs> no. No. But also, even though he may, he may send by radical, mm. still he is acting mm. conditional. Mm. Yes. You know? Yes. And then, so he say new. That's also yes. possible. Yeah. Possible. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. anyway, so I want to, you know, enter this discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> now we have a new. A new shloka. Uh -huh. This is a new shloka here. This is from Guru Charan Padma. It's very nice. Shri Guru Charan Padma Kevala Bhakati Sadma Mandamoy Savadhana Sane Jahara Prasadibai Ebhavatariya Jai Krishna Prabhi Hoi Jaha Hoite Very similar to what we sing in the song. Mm -hmm. Carefully I praise the lotus feet of my Sri Guru that are the only abodes of pure devotion. Oh, brother, mind, by his grace, you will cross the ocean of material existence and attain Krishna. It's interesting because before I built, the mind, but it will be here. I will be, how to say? They'll be free from this covering. Mm. It will be here. It's written in Shema Bhagavatam how soul going up and gradually uncover it, uncover it, uncover it. And then entering the spiritual sky, it completely pure. But it's here. Naratam Thakur telling, oh my brother mind, by, he, uh, by his mercy, means Guru's mercy, you will cross the ocean of material sufferings. Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you, you, my mind, my brother, you will cross this, this material ocean of sufferings. It means, you, uh, before I thought, oh my, I thought, how can I cheat my mind? How can I do it in such a way that I can, can be in one day without this mind? But Narottam Thakur, he is telling other things. He is telling, oh, my brother, mind, you will be win once you will cross material ocean of sufferings. Yes. I, I will not cheat you. You will win. Mm. Please, be with me in this. Mm. We will be together. <laughs> Interesting. So he's going, he's going like back and forth, you know? Mm. In, in ultimate death. So sometimes he's in mood of like this majority and then he's going back to the Guru. He's talking about conception of Krishna absolute. So here again now he's returning to glorify Guru. Yeah. Yeah, how he's changing mood, changing things. How do we understand this? Maybe here's the the abode of pure devotion, Shudakanika Vyakya. So here is this is another that's from the In the beginning of this book, Srila Takura Mahashaya glorified the principle of Sri Guru, who is the root cause of all accomplishment of sadhana. Now again he praises the lotus feet of Sri Guru in a more specific way. Can I ask Jananda? Jananda mm. when I told this, uh, uh, my feelings about what the uh, Nardanda called telling <coughs> to his mind, what is your feeling about this? Maybe you have other feeling. It means I want to understand what is good. Then Gurudev gave me this lesson, <laughs> and I want to learn 
how to say in such a way what it will be in connection the, to the mood of Acharya. Yeah, could you and could you say your your questions? Gurudev told me, you remember, when I gave not proper example. Mm. I tried to reciprocate with Guru, but mm. due to lack of experience, my attempt was not so good. Mm. And he told, "You are just cutting my mm. stream of nectar mm. to you." Mm. Uh, and I now want to understand when I told this, I am in connection with feeling of Acharya, or not? From your perspective, you, how you feel? Connecting Acharya. Sorry, I still could not understand. But you, you, I, want, them, you, I want to understand your feeling in this moment when I told this, when I expressed my feeling. What you feeling? Is I am in a stream or I am cutting? I want to learn. Uh, here, now? When I told about my feelings about these words, Oh, brother, mind. No, mind, it's not in text, but it's mean. By His mercy, you will cross the ocean of material sufferings. When I, I express my feelings about this word, what from perspective of you of your feelings, I am in a stream or what? Well, you know, I did not, you know, so this old brother means I did not to, I did not think so deeply. Mm -hmm. here, in this mm -hmm. kind of mind. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, oh, brother means uh, Narottama does talk saying to his, uh, you know, from third person the point of view, he, he, he called himself oh. to, to, to Narottama. Mm -hmm. So that's I'm feeling, but he's, he's means mentioned mind, oh, I see mind, just uh, like this. Can I share? Sure. For me it's the, the fear, anxiety that I have in material life, whatever happens, can or be this kind of thing. And it can drive me in, yeah, this fear always drives me out of a stream to connect myself, rather fear or love, let's say like this. So, and it's like this other very beautiful bhajan that also speaks to the mind. Yes, yes. Anyway, anyway, there's more bhajan that really address the mind. So for me it was this, please, my mind, let us, <laughs> me, my, my ego, my, my soul part, uh, pray to the lotus feet now together to really trust and surrender. This was my understanding. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because uh, Manaha Shiksha means Ragnata Das is saying mind. Because mind tendency go to material thing. But if we could control our mind, means we make friendship with mind. Then mind will be obedient to go to spiritual thing. So therefore this is proper to using mind. Because according to our mind we can select material life or spiritual life. It's very interesting because uh, what you just told, if we if we will love mind, when only when he will be agreed, otherwise he will resist. So therefore, and then Gurudev was saying like, I uh, know uh, actually, Bhaktisiddhanta said, if we get up, it's not starting. Hundred time beat mind. No, no, still mm. still mm. Still and when still sleeping. Still. Or before sleep, the dog goes to like the kind of sleep, sleep uh, something and meet. Means the kind of if we we have a can in a kind of a dog, this was a bug, yes. and then we have to say, a Dog, please, please, you know, please, here you should do the pee pee and caca. 
、if we could end on trend, then he, he do. So similarly, if we train up our mind, also mind, also like friend. I heard what does it mean to beat mind before sleeping 100 times.、Mm. This is mean, it's not physical, it's not just, it's not just mean what we must image how we beat mind. No, it means to do something what for the mind not testing. For example, before going to sleep, offer dandavas to all who is dear to me. My Guru Dev, Param Guru Dev. Raghunath Das Gassami, Rupa Gassami, everyone, he doesn't like it. But if I'm doing it, it's like beating. But due to this, he absorbed on their qualities and he's changing. That, that's, I think, correct. This is correct. I don't think it's in the right. Anish Ahar, your last sentence was if you do this, then? When devotee doing this means remember、yeah. his guardians, Acharyas. Everyone who helped him,、yeah. everyone w i t h f e e l i n g s of gratitude,、yeah. then the quality is coming and mind changing because he、ah. concentrated on their qualities, on their personalities, holy personalities. Due to this, mind becomes sadhu chitta. Chitta means、uh, holy mind, sadhu. This is beating the mind. Yes, it's what、oh. I heard from Naranga Samharaj. He explained in this way what does it mean to beat mind. Я помню, мы на Баджу Хурейман. И я также понимал, как я сказал, что вы подружились с умом, а не с умом. Я не соглашаюсь с ним, я даю другой взгляд. Иногда, что вы сами это майда, мол, крейзи. Это не просто. Еще больше сопротивляться и вредничать. Это не стоит только молить, а не говорить, а предлагать ему вариант, который будет интересоваться. Его объясняю. Yeah, in all scriptures, devotion to the personality of Godhead is said to be the ultimate goal and main purpose of human life. And the scriptures and great saints are similarly of the opinion that devotional practice cannot be commenced without taking shelter. At the feet of a bona fide guru. In his book, Sri Bhakti Rasamitra Sindhu, Sri Pad Rupa Goswami has described 64 items of devotion and has added that 10 of these items form the gateway into the temple of devotion. The first ones are Guru, Padashraya, Asmat, Krishna, Vikshari, Shikshara, Vishrambhena, Guru, Seva, taking shelter at the feet of Sri Guru, taking initiation from him in Sri Krishna Mantra. Receiving instructions in the service of the Lord and faithfully serving Sri Guru. I have a question. Maybe it will be, be、uh, a little bit、uh, how to say, after. But it's here, it's written, but 
10 of them, of it, it's from me 64, mm. uh, create the gate to the temple of devotion. But we see here only three or yeah. four. It's saying here, these three, I'm just reading the next uh, sentence, these okay. three, the three are the first and foremost gateways yes, to the I'm path of the devotion. Uh, so emphasis on, yeah, yeah. on these first three. <laughs> So, you know, so, what do you mean, Bishwam, 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 It's a question. Yeah, question. Bishwam, Bishwam, what I heard, mm. it means to serve Guru without any fear, with feelings of closeness. When disciple serving Guru long time or intensively, when it's happening quickly, like our uh, Mahatma Ji. Then the feeling coming, no more fear, because he found Guru in different situations. He's related his feelings to him and found is his is the best friend. He's never exploited. He's only thinking about my benefit. Then this fear <coughs> going. And also it's coming to the mercy of Guru realizing of my soul and realizing Guru Devi, his soul. And that word in service to Shimatiratika, no any fear. And this feeling, then he returned to this, no more fear to Guru. This means Vishnabena Guru also, how I'm understanding. What does it mean, Vishnabena? In Bengali, what does it mean? Vishram, Vishram, Bena. Vishramba, Vishram. Vishram. Vishram is belief, no? Vishram means resting. Does this mean what I told? Peacefulness. No tension, no, no fear. any yeah, yeah, pressure. Yeah. He is not feeling fear. Yeah. Relaxed. Yeah. And uh, if Janandaji, mm. I can uh, mention one story about this word, Vishrambhena, how Naranga Samaraj explained. Okay, please. When we visit um, Vishrambhagat in Madhura, he told what does it mean. He told when Krishna was here in Madhura, he is suffering what he is not in native land. No, this love, that love what he get in Raja. And due to this, he was so tired. But nobody loved him in such a way, but in Raja. Mm. He was so tired. He was so much fe feeling uh, separation. Mm. Then person in great feeling of separation, one of the symptoms of this separation is no power. I'm tired. No power. No, f no, no. Shakti no power to act. And he came to this place on the bank of Yamuna and crying, remembering uh, who is dear to me. Mm. In this moment, she might have her crying on the bank of Yamuna and her tears mixed with cudgel come to him and his tears drop to this stream of cudgel tears of Shimati Radhika. In this moment, she Krishna filled with Shrambhana. Again, connection with Shimati Radhika, with that love in which he is living. Wow. It's not so much explained. Wow, this is very beautiful. And he again gets some feelings of power, to, uh, um, possibility to act. You know, I was, <coughs> I was just meditating. So this Vishrambena, Vishrambena Guru, means actually Raga Bhakti is maybe I feel suggesting. This is recommended Raga Bhakti. Because Vaidhi Bhakti means, you know, always some fear is there. Vaidhi Bhakti is always strong. And always uh, over reverence. That means, you know, or oh, maybe could they may be angry with me, punish with me, kind of fear, you know. If we do, we do bhakti, but actually this this one is kind of, you know, we think good friend. Raga. 
and also some raga yeah. with love. So it means, you know, this bhakti principle actually is raga bhakti. Interesting. May I ask something? Huh? Can I have a question? Sure. I, I heard this often to it's good to a friend. I yes, think in the spiritual world everything is happened as ever was there. But in the material world it's for me it's never hap- never possible to talk to Gurudev like he talks to me. Or when he said do this or then something like this. When he when he helps us to clean us from the ego. Sometimes he's very strict. And when I have when I'm in a friendship with someone, both can be strict. But here I cannot it's never possible. He knows more, he it helps me and I am disciple. And so this is for me only possible in the spiritual world. To be friends to my guru. No. He also possible. Actually, from beginning, some fear there. Because Guru is superior. But uh, if we become more relationship, more serving him, then kind of relationship we become like a master and servant from kind of more or less friendship. Yeah, it's also come to the man. Yeah. He thought, I afraid her. <laughs> and Lazarina, no, you have to take this uh, medicine. You know, like, like uh, you know, some very, very interesting relations. Sometimes mother to the ch- you know, child. Yeah. Narendra Samaraj told the same about Mother Maharaj. He told, I, I afraid him sometimes because I want to eat this, he is not allowing me. And he's doing doing this, and Madam Maharaj not looking. Like also Mahaprabhu also Mahaprabhu af, afraid of uh, ah, Swarupadama Dara. And Jagadananda also. Jagadananda also. Uh, Mahaprabhu did the Bombay also Swarupadama Dara. Jagadananda too is that kind of machine. Hmm. Nigakoy bish. Nigakoy. You know, it takes time, but uh, you know, mm-hmm. because Guru is uh, everything. Guru is master, friend, Guru is mother, well wish. <laughs> you know, a kind of everything. Sometimes say, oh, you are mother, you are father, you are your friend, you are master, you know, kind of everything. <laughs> the same question and may I share what Angakadi says? Yes. Angakadi says it's up to almost the same as the Ananamana. It's up to the stage of devotees. Plus we are very new. We are we feel afraid and we need his guidance, Oh, uh, ask anything for himself. Please purify me, please protect me, no. I can protect you. The body become mature, then the body can protect the crew the body. It's up to the stage of the body. Like a child. You know, some, like when we are, like I say, five, seven, ten years old, always we need protection from father. <coughs> or sometimes father chest time us, collect us. But if we become getting older, like 20, 25, and 30, so, and then slowly, slowly children mature, <coughs> then sometimes father depends on the son. 
and some, sometimes, some, okay, my father, I protect you. I can do for you. I can take care of you, no problem. So it depends on our mat- you know, maturity. That's antagonistic. I think that's not true. Don't step uh, don't step like we are. So just be honest. Sorry, sorry, mature will come. Is it all? Yeah, this maturity will come slowly, slowly. Don't uh, make uh, pretend I'm mature. So just be honest, uh, our stage. Is this correct? Is this correct? Yeah, that's my heart. Yeah. Okay, continue. <clears throat> Therefore, as one enters the gate of the temple of devotion, one must first of all take shelter of the feet of Sri Guru. For one who is not devoted to the feet of Sri Guru is deprived of devotion or attaining the Lord's grace. Just as water turns into ice when it is frozen and thus increases its quality of coldness, similarly, when the grace of the Lord becomes dense, it becomes manifest before the devotee in the form of Sri Guru to cool the heart of the devotee, which is afflicted by the threefold material misery, with a stream of bhajan ras, and bless him with the relish of loving the Lord's lotus feet. Question, comment? Yesterday Gurudev said, Bhakti is very simple. No, no, we are soul. And then, three steps. Yeah, three steps. No, that we are spirit soul. The soul has a spiritual body, and the soul the source is Radhika, a kind of soul relationship, and soul the source is Radhika. And Radhika need Krishna. And Radhika need need Krishna. And then. The, the soul, spiritual body, need to serve the So to know that this Guru needed, and just to this three step, a simple, simple way, just only three step to this, you know, uh, Guru Padashraya and uh, Krishna Diksha Shikshana and Vishwamrara Guru Guru Seva. Then we can have everything. So this is a very interesting point. But uh, we are so complicated. Oh, we have we have to know 64 items for the Gospel of We have to know all scriptures. But actually, it's not true. Very simple. So, but the uh, problem is we cannot accept this simple thing. Also, sometimes we have, we don't have eye to see, Guru. 
We don't have eye to see. Ah, uh, <laughs> Or somehow who has this three process? Somehow, you know, to find out this so kind of good. Also, not so easy. Uh, um, so I don't know. Um, I, I missed the first part. So next to the Guru that says, actually Bhakti is simple. And he said, first one we have to know we are soul. Second one is the soul has form. Then from from that soul form, that actually some soul or soul form come from Sri Radha. And Sri Radha served Krishna. So we need to serve this Radha Krishna. Radha. So this he says these three things. Just we we have to know these three things. Nothing else. This Pavupada is Swarupa and Swarupa Siddhanta. So similarly, to know these three things, just we found out someone who knows these three things, and then take Shrita Guru, take initiation from the Guru, and take Shiksha. Keep teaching from Guru, and then the service of Guru Dev with love. These three things, everything fine. We can feel for everything. So bhakti is actually very simple. But uh, for us, we are thinking, oh, we have to know all the scriptures. We have to get the information. Or well, we have to practice 64 items of devotion. And sometimes we are thinking like this. But actually, here Baba also mentioned, actually very simple. But our mind is complicated. We cannot think easily. We cannot think a simple way. That's our problem, I feel. Could you also the threefold material misery? Could you explain what it means, threefold material misery? Threefold material misery is one is adiatomic. It's suffering from our mind and body. Adiatomic. It comes from Atma. Because of our Atma. This Atma means body and mind. So you, may, you, know, you, don't, you don't need to remember this one. Just suffering from mind and body. Second one is suffering from other living entities. Adibotic. And then third one is uh, adidaibic, means suffering from deva, means natural disaster, earthquake, you know, heavy rain, or no rain, or too much wind, you know, hurricane, you know, cold, 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 cold you know, anything, anything natural disaster. So, here, In this material, we cannot avoid these three things completely. Even though how, how much money we have, how much science we have, but uh, it's difficult to avoid these three things. So, but if we take shelter of Gurudev and take shelter of Radha Moha, that misery was kind of minimum. Still we have material body, so we have to suffer to some extent. But uh, suffer, our suffering becomes minimal. 
What was the second one, Jayananda? Suffering from other living entities. For example, some other people criticize you, or some other people hurt you, beat you, or sometimes steal your items, like kind of this thing. Here, Brindama also sometimes happening. Oh, my, my shoes, shoes, my shoes, <laughs> my dress, my dress is stolen, my money is stolen. Or sometimes somebody said to me bad words. Or sometimes in a monkey come attack me or you know, something like that. Or a mosquito bite me. Anything like that. Actually, karma comes from these three things, related. It's related. So, according, so, and then means if we do devotion <coughs> service, all karma will be clear. That is Cheto Dharpana Marjana. Yeah. If, if we take shelter, Radhika and the chanting, and, and uh, this is Radha uh, Kripa Kataksha, all karma become finished. Karma is two kind. It's important. And uh, karma. In this lifetime, we suffer. And another one is future suffer, not this lifetime. Yeah. And I sorry, I thought about other two kinds: karma which is coming from my deeds, or karma which is given by my Ishtadevata for my benefit. It's called Krishna karma. Yeah, but this Krishna karma. Maybe, but uh, usually we don't, we don't, uh, usually we, we, we are not so much discussing this Krishna karma. Because, because, because Krishna arranged our karma. Means Krishna kind of nullify karma or change karma. For our advancement of karma, or our, how do say, our understanding of reality. So that's so that's also maybe to karma, but usually, generally speaking, how do say, prabuddha karma, prabuddha karma, prabuddha karma, and prabuddha karma. You remember the um, Hong Kong devotee? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what devotee? A devotee from Hong Kong. Ah, okay. And she was sharing Kong. that her Guru Dev told her when she has yeah, problems that it's given by Krishna to create, to, to make her understand something. Yeah, remember that? Anyway, she was sharing this and I was feeling even somehow very sad about this, something really deeply. Anyway, I, I told this to Gurudev and he said uh, he doesn't agree. He said, why would Krishna give Krishna more in Maya? That's what he said. No, like, that means like this. Uh, to teach it, say, Father wants to teach son or daughter. And uh, sometimes if directly saying, my children does not hear. In many cases. Does it listen, you mean? 
and start listening, start following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then a father makes some arrangement to understand a little more. It's not like kind of punishment, not the punishment, kind of some kind of arrangement for, for deep understanding. Right? Sometimes. So, Krishna also sometimes do like changing karma a little bit. And they both benefit sometimes, you know. So, this kind of arrangement does. Another question. I heard this often that when you do bhakti, karma is stopping. But does that mean you, from this point on, the rest of your life, when you do good, when you stay in bhakti, there will no, you will not create karma? Or does that also mean, or maybe mean, that the karma from the last lives doesn't. Karma or karma? Karma. 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 Yeah, yeah. I, said, I, heard, I heard karma. <laughs> karma. Um, that the karma from the last lives uh, is all, also stopping. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know the wheel? They describe yes, the wheel yes, of yes, karma. Yes, you know yes. this example? Yes, yes. The wheel like a fan, right? It's going round and round. You turn off the fan. Yeah. When you turn it off, it doesn't stop. It continues to turn. Yeah. Right? And then after some time, it slows, slows, and then eventually it stops. You see? So this karma is working like this, that you still are feeling the effect of past karma. Even after you purify, after you <laughs> devote yourself to the Atmani Vedana, you know, you give you total surrender, still you're feeling some effect of karma for some time, but eventually, yes, eventually it does come to stop. Eventually, yes. Like, you know, so this body was controlled by planet. Uh, planet. Planet. Planet and also demigods. Planet means demigods. So, if we have this material body, some influence there. So, even, so we are doing bhakti. But sometimes we become diarrhea. Also we become fever. Sometimes we are injured, sometimes. This also happening. I saw interesting how the phenomena, how time is influence all people simultaneously, devoted, non devoted. These influence have different, uh, how to say, how to say, color. Uh, it's depend on nature. But I saw it simultaneously happen. In Prasad Hall, it's possible to see that many, many devotees were. I found in one time, same. Same situation coming for all. They started, they was calm, all was calm, but in one moment, so much loud sounds coming from all sides, and they see so much activity, just it was not. But from dif different devotees, they, it's coming in different ways, but everyone becomes laughing loud like this. For everyone, what you told, the demigods, because uh, this influence of moon for the mind, it's Influence of particular demigod. It's coming. Yeah, true. Mm. That means for me, but I understand that bhakti helps for the future, for now, and also to take the things not so close, the material things, karma things, because bhakti and the love is stronger, so it doesn't touch you so much. Yeah, that's one sense to do. Also, if if we are not careful. Yeah. We are also influenced. Uh -huh. Like Guru Dev mentioned, so we put some put some seed on the on the earth. They say like a spinach or torasi, mm -hmm. and then grown up from from like a sprout, very younger, you know, kind of grass means sometimes animals come and eat. 
or sometimes I'm an animal like a make like a, you know like learning or you know and then so we have to protect we have to protect that kind of fence very good example yes so therefore you know actually true but we have to be careful so that means we should not do any offense or uh, we don't also we should not associate especially larger tamas things yesterday i was in, in my room i was translating they immediately upstairs, like uh, very funny music is coming. Like, I don't know. And then I was disturbed in a little bit. Because I, I feel, oh, this is very materialistic sound. Very passionate. So, even though we are staying in Brindava, if we hear material sound, Material problem. Material problem. Ah, problem. 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 Mm-hmm. Or a kind of grammar kata, nonsense ah, talk. Mm-hmm. Then also we also affected. Mm-hmm. In Brindam means we should think about Radha Moha. Mm-hmm. But we start thinking about you know material life, you know. Oh now you know economy is very down, you know. You know, petrol is very high, you know, something. Then we start thinking, oh, actually, to do, you know, then we start thinking material, right? But we should, we should talk. But if we, you know, together we are asking, oh, how are you? Like, how is your country? Your, your job is okay? And then slowly, slowly, many things come here. That's also okay, but uh, too much too much talking is not good. Yeah, we were discussing this yesterday, right? So sometimes even Guru is sometimes asking. See the difference. Sometimes Guru is asking, how are you, how's your job, how's your family? But why, is it? but this is connected to Radha Mohan. Why? Because Guru knows that if you have peace, harmony, in your family life, in your job, in your security, then you have less disturbance yeah, of the mind. You see, then you can focus more on your bhajan. You see? That's why he's asking. Yes, yes, yes. Right? exactly. I agree. I agree. And if our material life, our family life, our job, our surrounding disturbed, then we cannot meditate. Well, even we cannot chant properly. We are all anxiety. Oh, what do you do today? You know, this problem, that problem. You know. How can I pay for my rent? Yeah, how can I pay my rent? You know, I have to get out. You know, this kind of thing. Gurdiv many times asked me what is going on in Russia about war. Many times on the news. First, I was was bewildered by his question, and then I understood he was so much worried about duties in Ukraine and Russia. How they feel? Yeah, if your family is okay, you're, you know. Yeah, last time also, you know, one family is, one devotee's mother was very sick. So good it was worrying, you know. Oh, how about your mom? Can I see? Can I talk? And they see and talk and more, you know, in accent. And these talks and questions, they can um, make the love bigger and, and deepen the, the relationship. And then, the, and then she can more face yeah. and other more than the other mm-hmm. yeah. If Gurudev talk with other devotees, father and mother, whoever, that devotee is more comfortable and has more faith upon Radha Mohan and Gurudev, and more depend on Radha Mohan. Gurudev say, oh, pray to Radha Mohan, I also pray for you, you know, like this. The more faith coming, more comfortable, more, you know, kind of, more peace, more peace is coming. That is, I think this is only for the devotees, for new devotees, when you have a deep relationship? No, still he's asking. Still? Yes, every time. You know, many times, you know. 
he discussed many details about the work or whatever by a new car. Always, not always, but he often gives some direction in this matter. So I speak now. And this is very safe Yeah. When the Rupa Gassami, Sanat Nagasami, they travel in Brindavan, they have close relationship with Rajavasi and they ask Rajavasi, how's your daughter? How's your son? Are you preparing marriage for your daughter? How's your cows? <laughs> What's it? Well, how is, how to say, how is growing your vegetables and all the, the wheat? I don't know how it's in English. Grains, yeah. like this, and then edit. You know, tomorrow will be Kaddish. Yeah, especially Sanatana Gosam is like a, like a father, or well, maybe grandfather for everyone. Sometimes some guru is like a, everybody's a father or grandfather. Yeah and take care, you know, all the asking of what is your mother, what is the son and daughter. And uh, if some problem comes to me, you know, I also help you. Like, you know, that kind of thing. He's, he's, he's not making small talk. You know, this expression, to make small talk. What do you mean small talk? Like, if you, in the material world, you go into office, uh, from official business, first is some small talk. Ah. How are you feeling today? Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you? It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like your shirt, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small talk. Uh -huh. Just to make the person relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? The salesman, he does this. Yeah, true. You know? Before he tries to sell you thing, he makes small talk. This is a guru who's not doing like this. Okay. Yeah, maybe. A little bit putting you at ease, making you feel relaxed, but also he really cares, you know? There's a difference. He really cares about you. You see? He really wants to help. Many times he's not just saying help, but he's offering solutions, right? He's giving advice so many times. This is a sign of the real compassion. The real mercy, yeah? The compassion coming. And that's why he gets angry sometimes also, right? But when I was younger and Gurdjieff was like this with me, I was thinking, why he hates me, he's shouting at me. And then I told that to my mother, I said, Gurdjieff doesn't like me. And then she said, no, he loves you so much. That's why he cares. If he wouldn't care about you, he would not get put his energy and, and get angry with you. Exactly. Someone gets angry, it means he loves you. Yes, true. Yeah. If not the love, then just sort of go through you Yeah, that's okay, you do what you want. Yeah. I see one sweet relationship, especially our guru day with so sweet and sweet leader and Gora Priya and Guru Day. Huh? So how do you feel? Guru day with you are like a real grandfather or something like that? Huh? I think I'm more like a part of the fear. Uh -huh. No, because Guru Dev gave her nice dresses, so many. Wow. Wow. Today you will, huh? This also, Guru Dev gave to Wow. Because Guru Dev said, first she came from the South Indian style, and Guru Dev said, now you need to get married, you need to prepare, you should dress nicely. I saw, then Niti Didi, and Sunita Ji brought a lot of dress. Wow. <laughs> Who brought? Niti did, yeah. Sunita Ji brought a lot of dress. Ah, Niti. And Don't I was sitting together by him. Wow. And the Guru Dev and I checking. And this is good. This is not. <laughs> <laughs> and she is happily, can I try this? And go to Ru and try, try, try. Can I take it? Take it. Wow. So nice. And from that day, she became very fashionable. Yeah, that's true. Shiny. She became what? Fashionable. Fashionable, shiny. Shiny, fashion, fashion. fashion. Uh, more ready. More attractive, more yeah. attractive. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, you know, mind's coming, you know. Oh, God of Korea. God of Korea's mother is very strict. That's why I, I should become nice, nice by Shinabi. No, 
No, Guru Dev tried to make yes, her означает, normal girl, normal lady, and more free. This sweet leader, I see Guru Dev and Gora This is not in personal relationship. This is personal relationship. Then Guru Dev teach us what how to make relationship our Swamini and us. Not in personal, personal, very lovely. Wow. Huh? Thank you for observing. Nice example. <laughs> you should show us more sweet Rila with Guru Dev, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, <coughs> by first saying the word, Sri Guru, Srila Takura Mahasaya indicates the Guru principle. <coughs> The word Sri means the treasure of Prema. Anyone who has this treasure, he is Sri Guru. A quotation from Bhagavatam. He who desires to learn about the most auspicious devotional principles should take shelter of the feet of Sri Guru who knows the scriptures and who has practical experience of God through his practice of devotion. If Sri Gurudeva does not know the truth, he cannot erase the student's doubts about bhajan matters. And if he is not devoted, he cannot infuse bhajan experiences into his student. End of quote. Yeah, so Shogurda so told me uh, recently I came to him and asked about surrender. He gave me to see one video, Shonarenda Sama Raj telling, I came to you I came to you to Western country to give you so many things about Raganuga Bhakti. Mm -hmm. Someone telling to me, I will go to hell if I will do. I'm ready to go to hell. But I will anyway give you this. But you must surrender. And he showed me this video and asked, what do you understand? And he repeated the same words. But after some time, I thought, but we must surrender. And he told, yes. And then he added, not to me, to Radha Mohan. Mm. If you will surrender to Radha Mohan, then you will start to understand me. Now, you can listen, but not really hear. Means not, it's coming deep. Mm. But then you will surrender to Radha Mohan, then you will understand me. You'll be in tune with me, mm -hmm. completely, in the same stream. I, I, I wanted more, a little sorry. Uh, when Gurudev lived here, he many times chastised me, so much chastised. And I remember, when he started to chastise me, for example, what I'm not doing marks mm -hmm. in group. Mm -hmm. You are thinking, he did like this. I was like this. <laughs> he shouted at me, and I was, <laughs> I was so afraid. But when I found, when he's doing this, I found, oh, he loves me. It's my first, third, wow. third. Wow. and then ah. I feel so much gratefulness. It's ah. coming immediately. Mm. He's still, he's shouting me, oh. I feel I'm so grateful. He is taking care about me, and then I feel my consciousness is changed and sweetness coming to the heart. And then I feel I'm completely tuned with him. I'm in stream and feel so much sweetness from his heart. Oh wow! This was heaven. Yeah. Wow. Give me a drop of this. I just did it. Yeah. Please, yes, he also have the same experience. It was a similar situation, like uh, he chastised me in front of everybody, oh, no. like really <laughs> strong. Just and in the same moment I feel such a deep love, love. love. and I can endure it very differently, this, uh, this yeah. chastisement. If, and, and that's the thing that you completely see. Uh, the initial thing China. is that your ego, it, it doesn't like this, right? Right. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. You know, he's embarrassing me and you want the, the natural first impulse is try to explain, right? Mm. Yeah, try to save your face, right? Don't. 
<laughs> but this is the, the wrong way. Yes. You have to it's just it's let it's that it's go, it's that it's impulse go, and just receive this and see it like you're saying as mercy. Because I actually did witness, there was one um, gentleman who was coming to do kirtan, and he made and his mother is sick and he wants to take prashadam home ah, so he's coming every day to take prashadam and Guru said well that, that's fine but then you have to do some service to Radha Mohan so come here and chant for one hour to service chanting kirtan and then take prashadam to your mother so one day he came to get the prashadam Guru says, Guru Dev says I haven't heard your kirtan you're just coming and you're taking the prashadam, but you're not doing the kirtan. That's not the arrangement. And then the man starts to explain, Oh, but Guru Dev, I did the kirtan, I did. And he's like talking back and he's, you know, and oh my God. Guru Maharaj became so angry, he almost threw his plate at the guy. Really like, I, I, I told the guy, please, please, problem, please, please, listen, please go. You're agitating. He's, I thought he was going to have some, some bad, you know, result from this. I felt really bad, and finally I stood up, and I took the towel by the hand, I said, please, you have to go, this is not a good situation. And still he's explaining, still outside, he's still explaining. No, I'm not, I'm, I didn't do anything wrong, you know. I'm coming, I'm going to do it, I'll do it tomorrow. So he's making some explanation, he's not receiving this in the proper way. It's mm -hmm. also good because then Gurudev is giving Danda, even if he gives Danda, we stick his Yeah, of course, mercy is coming, but if mercy is coming, you have to receive the mercy, right? In other words, you can. The rain, you know, mercy can come, but if we put the umbrella to stop the drops from hitting, then we're not receiving the mercy. You know, when they're, when they're in the snot, you know, when the and after the arti, they throw. We don't like say no, don't put the water. We take the head up. Yes, we want it. Yes. <laughs> sometimes it's cold, right? It doesn't not comfortable, but you know, we say it's mercy. We want to take. You said it good. said okay. Don't put in that throw, that throw more, more up. Oh, up. <laughs> not like direct. <laughs> yeah. 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 But anyway, that's so sweet, you know, that when you have this experience in the Guru, you have the vision already. You see, you have the proper attitude right? of surrender. This is so important. So important. <coughs> Sometimes I feel he knows me better than myself. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He picked up the vibe that I don't want, don't want to see yet. Mm -hmm. Not true, not full. What? And you, sorry, but another question. You, you, I was reading that the Guru has to know the scriptures. And Guru Dev often says, I don't know the scriptures, I never read anything. But he, he knows so much, he is so connected with the truth. So what does that mean? Yes. So, there is some, I don't know the verse, but something like, if you are devoted to Radha Krishna, completely surrendered, then all knowledge of Vedas automatically comes to even without study. You have, in other words, to know the scripture means to know the purport. To know what is the essence. Not important to know every word of every shloka. This is not meaning no This is just memorizing, you know. But to know the scripture means to understand, to realize. It's a realization of the scripture. This is, I think, what they mean here to know the scripture. What is the, what is the actual you know, purport, and has he realized it himself? Yeah. This is the, yeah. It can be, yeah, I completely agree with you, Senator Maharaj, but. We can more. I, 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 sure. John now can yeah. add so many things about this. What does it mean? So, first, say Guru means J. Krishna Tattva Beta Say Guru. So, some, any, anyone who has Krishna's truth, Krishna's Tattva, he can become Guru. Whoever. <coughs> so, my feeling is Guru Dev has so much sanskara. Previous life, he, he, he did so, you know, he read so many books. 
And also I found out that he has listening many sounds. So we may think we know he did not read, but he hears from so many sounds. Sometimes he is also he is listening. He does not like to read so much, but he wants to hear from other devotees reading. So therefore, you know, this that you know, like Siddhanta Maharaj also said to us, some of the realize is all tourists coming. Also, he did so much sanskara, he has so much good sanskara, he already has known without reading. Also, he has, he had here so many sadhu, Guru Vaishnava, that's also we can, we can say. Hearing, you know, better than, the, you know, hearing is better than reading. So he's hearing. That's I can. So he's hearing from the sadhu, right? When you hear from the mouth of the pure devotee, sitting in person, this is a very powerful thing. If you're reading the book, there's a lot is lost there, right? Because whoever wrote that, right? He's writing it, paper. Then you're reading the book, so the connection is not direct. This filter is there. Mind is more speculating like, and things like that. So it's not clear, yeah. direct yeah. communication, yeah. You know, but when you're hearing this, they call it shruti, or is this, or is, yeah. this hearing? Yeah, yeah. 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 Shravana. Shravana, but there's also hearing scriptures. Yeah, also, yeah. Shruti also, you know. Shruti, Shruti. Yeah, Shruti. Shruti is like a sound stage of here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, um, we are Shrimad Bhagavatam started from the first verse. Mm. It's at the end, at the end of this verse, it's written, "Param Satyam Dhimahi." Mm. This "Param Satyam Dhimahi" was word of explaining what's the, the highest truth. Mm. The highest truth is love, ah. principified love means Shrimad Radhika. Mm. She is the highest truth. Why mm. not Krishna? Because even for Krishna is a secret, mm. and he wants, he is eager to realize this truth. Mm. For this, pre- for this purpose, he is coming as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to realize this truth. Mm-hmm. Even he spent so much time to live in the feelings of Shrimati Radhika, still he could not realize all. It's unlimited. Her love is unlimited. And not only uh, in variety, because what is why it's not possible to realize completely. And Guru is Manjari. He always in connection, in connection with Srimati Radhika. He knows her much better than Krishna. Kinkari. What was I? Param Satyam Nimahi. He knows his highest truth better than even Krishna. And he knows everything about Srimati Radhika. How it possible means to that extent that how it possible for Manjari. And with me, everything in all details. Is this the highest truth for all all scriptures actually tell about only about Shrimati Radhika? I remember once Shilarenka Samaraj told them what's the difference between what's the difference between Hamsa and Paramahamsa, two kinds of devotee. Devotees who is like Hamsa, ah, how it's English Hamsa? Swan. 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 He can read the Shastra and found which words really given essence. Uh, really nice, like how it's called Rasayana, which is giving mm. power um, next to the heart, makes stronger. But Paramahamsa, the highest from uh, Swan, mm. he converted any words on Shastra to the glory of Shrimati Radhika, to the Rasa. Mm. For him, all, all on the Radha, all on the Radha. One may ask here, we can understand whether Sri Guru knows the truth when we see his scholarship. 
But devotion is a certain mentality. How can a sadhaka learn whether Sri Guru has devotion or not? The answer to this is Upashamashra, Upashama Ashraya. Upashamashrayam. He has fully subdued the six enemies of devotion. Lust, anger, greed, others, illusion. Yakama, Kuroda, Roba, Moha, Mada, Matsanya. We talked about these the other day. In this way, Sri Guru will be able to destroy different vices of his surrendered disciple that are unfavorable to his bhajan and bless him with the gift of prem and bring him near the lotus feet of the Lord. So more important than scholarship is devotion. This is the essence of this. How we know he has devotion? Because he's subdued, he has conquered these six enemies from devotion. And, it, and that means he can also help us Right? By destroying our vices. A vice means, I think we could say like an anarta or something, right? An unwanted mood, an unwanted uh, attitude, an unwanted uh, character trait, things that are not favorable to the bhakti. He also can destroy these. Yeah, this vice means say, klesha, no? Mm -hmm. Klesha. Klesha, affliction. Kresha means a kind of a kind of a, including anarta, mm. also some kind of a cause of misery. Actually, vice is different. Vice is, um, is actually a crime. Vice means crime, usually. Like you see in the TV, you know, Vice Squad, Miami Vice, okay? So in the in the FBI has a vice squad. They're going out to fight crime. So vice means crime, yeah, like sin. Affliction is more like something that we're suffering. Affliction is not just like the the three fold miseries. These are more like things. Like this is a kind of vice. So maybe literally you are correct, but this vice is like a, you know kind of karma. Cause of you know suffering, anything. Of course, sometimes the kind of this kind of you know kind of crime, mm. some kind of you know. Also, but this, I I think this if we in Sanskrit, if Hindi, if we say I think this you know Hindi or Bengali into this. Which is the word that you're referring to for vice? Hmm? Which which is the I don't see the reference to the Sanskrit to the Hindu. No 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 no. Actually, this book was translated into Bengali to into English. Right. Or Hindu into English. So I don't know. I did not see, but uh, probably this using kind of you know, kind of like kind of Kresha or, uh, you know, some word, maybe she, she may know. Well, but we don't have the Bengali here. Yeah. yeah. So, I think this is referring to, when it says unfavorable, this is referring to Upashivamrita, right? He's talking about the Jalpa, he's talking about Atyahara Prasa, this, okay. So these are things that we're doing. Mm. These are not things happening to us. These are things that we're, we're actively doing. Doing. Mm -hmm. Whereas um, Klesha thinks that's a more passive, it's happening to us. Maybe because that was a result of the vice, then we're getting the, the affliction, you know. But here I think he's talking about things that are unfavorable. We want to uh, eliminate those things, you know. Talking about worldly things, associating with 
worldly people, you, you know better this verse, you can explain these six things unfavorable, unfavorable association. Atyahara means to collect so much uh, material things, mm, exactly. or material knowledge, or even spiritual knowledge, what is needed, what a good thing. It does not make his yeah. eye us stray, mm. or moods, or happiness, which is not needed for us. Atyahara prayasa means so much endeavor for the mm. happiness of this world. Right. For example, in, in, sometimes it can happen in such a way that it seems like devotion, but it's not devotion. Mm. Because devotion coming due to relationship, due to attachment, due mm. to faith. Mm. But then someone acting more than allow his faith, then it's prayasa. Means mm. some that endeavors which is destroying devotion. Mm. Oh, I did so much. Why they not appreciate? <laughs> Why not glorify? Why or oh, become angry? Why not doing this same as I am? Like this. This means this is this this endeavors prayasa, not real devotion. Atihara prayasa shcha prajalpa. Mundane uh, talks. But Shilbaksan Sarasati explained this is spirit of enjoyment. And this mm. prajalpa can come from any sense, looking for material. Uh, knows going to the aroma which is not for um, enjoyment of takurji or the movements of body which is showing I want to de I desire to enjoy in this world like this he tell he's telling about prajalpa in broad um, in broad how to say in more broad way atyahara prayasacha prajalpa nyama graha nyama graha has too many nyama agraha or nyama graha Nyama means rules of scriptures for a human civilized, civilized style of life. Varnashrama. If person following these rules without understanding for which purpose is, it's called Nyama Graha. Means he's following rituals without it without love. Without love, without understanding for whom and how. And Nyama Agraha means to uh, ignore which is need he needed uh, rules. For example, Gurudev taught here us, he told, don't touch pure things with unpure hands. For example, if I took prasadam in prasad hall and not wash my hands mm -hmm. and mouth, trying to touch uh, the spoon or bu bu buckets with, with prasadam, mm -hmm. it's not good because in this moment I making, creating this, all this as my remnants. Mm. It mm. will be not good for other devotees and for this person. It's the rules that Gurudev taught us, which we are needed for our follow, for our bhakti, for our devotion. Mm. And Jana Sangha means what you told, not verbal association, association with someone who is have so much interest and love in this world, mm. which can create in me the same desire and deviate me from my goal. Janda Sangha and Lola. Lola means eagerness for material mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Srila Thakura Mahasaya says, Sri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Sadma. Here the word Charana is used in a devotional manner to worship someone, just like titles as Swami Charana or Swami Charana. Actually, Sri Guru Charana means Sri Guru Dev. The word Padma indicates that just as the lotus is the abode of honey, Sri Guru Deva is similarly the supreme shelter of Kevala for pure devotion. Kevala Bhakati Sadma. Guru Dev is the supreme shelter of Kevala for pure devotion. Defining the hallmarks of Kevala for pure devotion. Srimad Rupa Goswami Pada has written, the definition of devotion is that it is free from ulterior desires 
like reaping the fruits of fruitive activities and non-dualistic knowledge and is solely performed for Krishna's pleasure. Anushilana is derived from the root shil or shilana. And there are two kinds of shilana or practice. Pravuti, the rules, and pravriti, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, pravriti, rules, and nivriti, prohibitions. Pravriti, the first one, consists of physical and verbal activities and a loving mentality. In other words, practical service conducted with the body, glorifications of the Lord's activities and attributes conducted with the voice, hearing conducted with the ears, meditation on the Lord's forms, attributes, and pastimes conducted with the mind, and maintaining a loving attitude is conducted with the heart. The prohibitions are endeavors to avoid offenses during formal worship or offenses to the holy name. When these endeavors are conducted without desire for enjoyment or liberation and are merely filled with absorption in hearing and chanting for the love of the Lord, then that is called pure devotion. This is also designated with different words like uttama, is paramount or highest, nirguna, transcendental, kevala, pure, mukya, main or chief, ananya, exclusive, and svarupa siddhi, accomplishment of one's genuine form. So, a lot of information there. <laughs> I kind of went through it kind of quickly. Do um, you want to summarize a little bit what is the uh, take away from this? All right. This famous bus, Nyabirata Shunyan bus, <coughs> in Bakira Samita Sindhu. And uh, he describes what is a pure devotion. It's a kya, you know, karma uh, and jnana. Karma means like for own pleasure. Jnana means own liberation. And also he mentioned this favorable mood we should just, you know, do, give service to the Lord. So this, this mention, when these endeavor conduct without desire for enjoyment and divination, and merely filled with absorption, hearing, and chanting for the love of the Lord, then that is called the pure devotion. So pure devotion is many names. Uttama is like the highest. Nirguna is no beyond the guna. Kebara is very pure. Mukya is main. Ananya means exclude one point. Swarpasiddha means you know, our own home is uh, on form is perfection. So anyway, this is many words, but uh, it's a pure bhakti, or shuddha bhakti, or kevara bhakti. I heard this uh, term, Sarupa Siddha Bhakti, many, many times in Vigman, only now what you told, it's service in your Sarupa. It's the perfect service in your Sarupa. <laughs> because, because people know this and this thing. Because they don't talk about the Swarupa and Swarupa Siddha. Because they don't, they have not so much idea about There's really a lot of spent on this one shloka. Wow. A lot of uh, details. Maybe stop it. Maybe stop it. Maybe soon come. Soon out of the time. Sorry, Jananda Ji. Yes. No, do you want to see if I disturb my mind? No. 
No. I'm just joking. No, it's very nice. I don't you know how to add something, how to share. And I, I, I feel it inside sometimes what I thought is not good. <laughs> uh, only after when I thought, and I'm trying to understand why. If we too much thinking, you know, then we cannot talk. <laughs> if too much afraid, oh, this is, um, I'm cutting this, uh, you know. Then if too much thinking, then we cannot talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody wants more time? Um, no, no, I took so much food no? here. So. Yeah, I don't know. Okay.